what we call uh, this place is a small batch craft distillery. And we say that because the, the uh, idea here is everything we do is in small batches. You can literally see our distillery uh, from the bar uh, here that we're talking in. So it's very transparent. Everything you know, here is uh, uh, kind of out in the open. Meet Pia Curason, the owner of Republic Restoratives based in Washington, D.C. She isn't your typical liquor creator. How she got here comes from an aha moment following an assassination attempt of her former boss, Arizona Senator Gabby Giffords. She and her partner decided to leave the confines of Capitol Hill. That kind of changed my life and the course of my life in a lot of ways. And one of them was that, one of the ways it changed for me was that, you know, sort of proved to me that I needed to do something like this. If I, if I really wanted to, I needed to go out and make it happen. Stilling is a, is a difficult business in the sense that you, there's a lot of waiting, right? You put a lot of effort into something, you put it into a barrel, and then you have to walk away because watch pot never boils, right? <laughs> so you have to just kind of, you know, put it in the back of your mind for a few years. And that's, of course, difficult because you want to see, you know, how, how does it turn out? But These are the barrels where they make bourbon whiskey. Now, what you may not know, it's a meticulous process. Right now, he's, he's testing for the proof. It's 120. There is staff checking and rechecking everything from alcohol content to temperature. You get to say that. All day, every day. This is my life. I love it. They currently create four brands, bourbon, rye, apple brandy, and vodka. They use locally sourced product, including wheat from Ellicott City and apples from Pennsylvania. Getting their product into Maryland was not like flipping a switch. They were the first distiller to use the state's relaxation of liquor distribution laws. In the business of booze, there are a lot of hoops. Um, and in Maryland, what we did was um, we actually took advantage of a new permit in Maryland to allow for craft distilleries to self-distribute in the state. Um, so that actually allows us to, uh, to sell in the state uh, ourselves and to do our own deliveries. Yeah, we're stairs when people find out. <laughs> <laughs> mostly, I'm a I, I, I <laughs> mostly they kind of look to see who else is with me. Like, well, it must be you and someone else that's a man. Um, so, but you know, we, we work through those conversations and people frankly have been really supportive of us. After six months of doing business in Maryland, they opened up a bar in Baltimore featuring Republic restorative brands and they're looking to expand throughout the state. In Washington, D.C., I'm Charles Robinson for Your Money and Business.